welcome to Out of the Woods Adventures and the finale of this two-part series in Iceland. In part one, we got to explore amazing ice structures like this one at the Katla Glacier, along with beautiful ice tunnels like this that left us speechless. But before today really even got started, we saw this, far off in the distance in southern Iceland, a brand new eruption, giving us hope we might actually get to see some lava. So after enjoying some lunch and filling up on gas, we embarked on a four and a half hour trip back down to the south of Iceland near Keflavik to hopefully see some lava. Although we did see the lava, it was from a very far off distance, roughly about six miles. This was shot with a drone with a very long lens because they had everything blocked off for safety. All right, so what was our guide's name today? Helgi. Helgi, our guide today, told us about this restaurant in Reykjavik. It is the second oldest building in the city as far, I'm pretty sure that's what he said, but it's a kind of a local spot, have a lot of good local Viking food. So yeah, I'm excited to try out some Viking food. I'm pretty sure I saw Viking nachos. So that is an absolute win in my book. Uh, and the restaurant looks super, super cool. Lava day! It was <laughs> lava day, baby! <laughs> One of my favorite parts about traveling is trying local food. And besides the Viking nachos, I was definitely in for a treat for something very, very local. Alright, some Viking nachos. What do you think, Vic? <laughs> So, there it is. Thank you so much. I'm about to try a sheep head. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So surprisingly, this is actually pretty good. And then I have like a like a sweet milk sauce, like a kind of warm, intense milk. <laughs> Just adds to the flavor. It's, it's surprisingly good. <laughs> also tried my first tongue. Also surprisingly good and tender. <laughs> I'm grossing everybody out besides just these two. These are the only two that are here for it. Wow. You just tried some. Interesting. <laughs> Even though I might have grossed out half of our group and the waitress that served it to me, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm glad that I tried it. Now we're off to our hotel to prep for tomorrow. And sometimes that means using the only two outlets we have in the whole room to charge all the things because this is a photographer's life. And after another quick night of sleep, coffee was first thing on the list. And then we were back in the car on our way to our first adventure for the day. We had roughly a two hour drive to get to our first spot. And I didn't really know what to expect until I saw that blue ice in the distance and I was blown away and knew we were in for a treat. I won't try to say the name of this glacier because I can't, but I will write it in the corner so you can visit it yourself. We just pulled up to a glacier right back over there. So excited to see it. The blue of the ice is just insane. I wanted to make one quick note about this car that's fantastic. The tires, besides being big and awesome, are studded. So on all of this, these roads are just crazy icy and all the roads this whole trip with any ice. We've just been cruising, no problem at all. Yeah, so I'm really happy about what Lotus does with putting studs in their tires for the winter. Uh, it just adds so much more confidence to all the driving. Let's go see a glacier. Check that out. That ice, all that blue ice is just beautiful. I've never been this close to this kind of a glacier, especially towards the bottom where it's just this blue and clean, all the cracks and everything. It's absolutely beautiful. Such an amazing place. I mean, it's okay. It's ridiculous. 
It is like iridescent blue. It's the prettiest shade of blue ever. That was such a good stop. But uh, now we are heading off to another ice cave tour. And this one, I'm really excited about. We had about an hour drive north to get to our next tour that was located near Diamond Beach. And one of the exciting parts is that this is our vehicle. We got to enjoy it for about 30 minutes to get up to where our hike would start. And when we got to the trailhead, I had a little homesickness because that red Jeep reminded me of mine. The tears were done quick though, mostly because they froze to my face. But we had a glacier to explore and some ice caves to find. So that's the cave. <laughs> we're about to go in that little hole right there. Crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's beautiful. <laughs> that is unreal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this keeps going, man. This is amazing. If you could get past the claustrophobia of it all, these tunnels were unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life and were remarkably beautiful. So freaking cool. The clarity of the ice and the depth that you could stare into it was the part that was the most wild and my camera just could not capture. So I can't recommend enough, you need to go to Iceland and see it for yourself. Soon after leaving that cave, we were on to our next. I chose to take the elaborate staircase that the guides had carved into the ice, but Nick decided to take the more adventurous route down. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> After thoroughly enjoying the ice caves, our three hours, which felt like 10 minutes, were up, and we are back in the van, heading back to Diamond Beach. It's a light beer. You don't want that. Well, I want any beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, trying a Icelandic hot dog made from lamb. Got some good stuff in it. There's a little area to like right. hang out in that building. Yeah, is it warm? Yeah. Let's right. go. We're good. After filling our bellies, we decide to spend some time exploring around and taking in more blue ice. We even got to see a big iceberg fully roll over in the water. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull my camera out fast enough, but it was quite the sight to see. This place is just unreal. The blue and the ice, it's beautiful. And that cave, or that, that tour we just did, was one of the coolest things I've ever done. Uh, hiking through those kinds of slot canyons that are just smooth as glass, unreal. But, uh, yeah, so got that, got our hot dog, our Icelandic hot dog, and uh, which honestly, it was good. It wasn't that much different than a normal hot dog, but it was good. But now we're going to head across the way over to Diamond Beach. Diamond Beach gets its name 
from all the icebergs that are broken up by the raging sea and then washed up back on shore. It is such a rare beauty to see ice sitting on a beach by the ocean, especially with the black sand to contrast against. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Man, what a night it ended up being. We weren't expecting a sunset at all. And that's beautiful. Just amazing. After enjoying that amazing sunset at Diamond Beach, we had a couple hour drive to get up to our next town of Hofen, where we were staying for the night, where we would find some dinner and rest up and plan for our next day. Good morning. It's a tad bit windy. A little bit of sand in the face. <laughs> but this place is amazing. So cool. After exploring around the beach for a while, we all had had enough of the wind and needed some breakfast. Fortunately, right at the beginning of all this beach, there's a restaurant right there, and it had some great waffle options. Do you have some good food? Yeah. Some coffee? Our turn. After filling up, we hit the road, but not for very long because we found a pretty cool surprise just down the road from the Viking restaurant. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, he likes licks. Good oh, job. Like oh, it's so sweet. After enjoying that beautiful scene with the horses and all the blowing snow, we were headed back down south to go to that first glacier we went to early this morning because we honestly just didn't get enough of it and want to explore deeper down into the ice. But only about an hour south, we came across another nice surprise, which were wild reindeer roaming around on the land just beside the freeway. Oh, another hot dog for you. Look at him just devour it. So good, so good. So we decided to take a little, take a little stop on the way back <laughs> for more hot dogs. He got two of the, of the pork, lamb, beef dogs. Uh, today I'm trying a lobster roll. It smells so good. Oh man, that's fantastic. That was really, really good. And then we're off to, what's it called? Our next spot. It has like 38 letters, I have no <laughs> idea. It's a glacier, a lagoon. But yeah, heading off there. We were there yesterday and we're going back this time to get down into the ice and explore down in there much more.
can distance change here so rapidly. Just a few minutes ago, it was all pretty calm, and then all of a sudden we come around a corner, and the wind is howling like crazy, blowing snow everywhere. After that fun facial exfoliation, we were back on the road heading to our glacier. Check that out. how big these caverns are. It's insane. This is unreal. It's important to note here, even though I didn't document it, before walking on any frozen lake, always make for sure that it's thick enough and safe enough to walk on. this out look at that whole ice wall that is insane <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before in my life it's so cool so blue look at all those squirrels and different lines it's just it's so cool that's all I can say amazing final night here in Iceland. That was the absolute icing on the cake being able to do all that. But now we're hungry, so we're going to head into Vic, get some dinner, head to our Airbnb tonight. Tomorrow we have a few small stops to enjoy, and then heading home. But still more to come. Iceland's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All on video. Let's go. Unfortunately, we come to our final day here in Iceland, but there's still a couple more things that we haven't seen yet that I'm really excited to see. First off is a black sand beach with some huge basalt columns right off the ocean. It's crazy, crazy windy out here. Just about lost my jacket trying to put it on because the wind took it. But, uh, beautiful. The gust here had to have been close to 50 miles an hour because they were enough to literally blow us off our feet. I found a little reprieve from the wind. That was insane. Like literally about to blow me off my feet. This beach, although busy, was absolutely beautiful. And those basalt columns are such a unique thing to see. And the weather gave us a little bit of everything. We had some crazy, crazy wind. And then the snow started, <laughs> which is 
just added to the magic of all of it. And then as suddenly as the snow had started, it stopped. And then right after that, we ended up getting a beautiful sunrise. Then we were on the road again to our very last stop, one more waterfall here in Iceland. One of the most popular waterfalls in Iceland, Seljalandafoss, is a 200 foot tall waterfall located just north of Hella and was the perfect thing to wrap up this trip. Dropping off the car back in Lotus. I have to say, we've had such a good time with this car. Um, if you come to Iceland, I highly recommend checking out Lotus. It's been super easy to work with. Their vehicles, are amazing. I saw a lot of other vehicles that did not have studded tires and just as well equipped as this one has been. So highly recommend getting Lotus. This thing especially is amazing, but they also have more economical choices like those over there. That's it for us from Iceland. Thanks for joining. And uh, yeah, I have another trip coming up here real soon with the family. So look out for that one. Sun stops and shines